What's up, ladies and gentlemen? So, uh, here I'm going to sign a review, obviously. What I'm going to talk about is the Hunger Games Catching Fire Comic Con trailers. The new trailer is just released, it's all over the internet, uh, and it's basically the Comic Con trailer. And I'm here, I just want to review this trailer because watching it, uh, the, the first trailer that was released like two months ago, I liked that trailer. That was a good trailer. It was intense for me. It, it had everything for me. I really liked that trailer. It made me excited for the film. But this trailer was just released like two or three days ago. I'll tell you. It starts out very, you know, very subtle, very quiet. But then, bang, you know, everything starts to go down. People start fighting, you know, there's fire everywhere. Well, there's fire in, everywhere in certain scenes. You know, you, you could tell because at the end of the first one, Mr. Snowgrass, I, I have no idea what his name was, I, I have no idea, but the guy with the beard, you know, that was in the trailer, and he's like the capital leader, and, and he's, and he says like stuff like, uh, you know, she has to be eliminated, you know, that guy, that older man, not, not, like, the, the, the when he was sitting in there with Philip Seymour Hoffman in the room, I don't know his name, but, the main, you know, bad guy from the the, the first one, the capital leader. You, I'm not going to continue. You know who I'm talking about. So this guy, he he's in this movie, and he looks like he's just, he wants to get Katniss Everdeen. And in the trailer, he gets her in a room, and he's saying stuff like something about, you know, something about losing your friends or something, losing your family or something like that. I don't even remember. It's just something like that. But this guy, he looks like he's like... The first trailer of this movie made him look menacing because in the first one he wasn't like menacing. He was just like diabolical. In this film it looks like he's going to be like menacing. He's going to want to be starting this riot. And he's, he's just up to no good. So they call everybody, all the tributes... Uh, back to be in the Hunger Games again, you know, the, the new Hunger Games, not the one from the last film, the, this, you know, the new Hunger Games. So Katniss and Peeta, they have to go back in and play the games. I'm not too sure why, but I'm sure they'll, they'll capitalize on that in, in, you know, other interviews or, you know, trailers or something. But these games, they, they, because they showed, like, small footage and that's just a Katniss rising uh, you know up onto the field of where the games start and it's not a it's not a field it's like an ocean or a river and then there's like field around that you know it's it's like I wasn't expecting it. I think that's awesome because once the thing the horn starts or whatever and they all got to start they got to leap into the water and that's awesome to me. I mean, I don't know. I'm a sucker for movies with a lot of water in them. I don't know why, but I just like that kind of shit. It's weird. I don't know why, but I do. And seeing that, that's the way they're ending the trailer. That makes me pumped for this movie because I was a fan of the uh, first Hunger Games movie. Don't get me wrong. I was a fan. But it just, it wasn't like, it was good, but it wasn't anything spectacular to me. This film looks like it could definitely beat out the first one. And it looks like it could be great and exciting, and it looks like it's going to be better than the first movie. Maybe it's it's going to be one of the you know best films of, it, this year. It is coming out this year, isn't it? 2013. It's coming out in November, I think. Yeah, right here, yeah. November. I don't know. I think it's coming out this year. Holy shit! I thought it was further away than that. Just thinking about it, but yeah. Thank you for watching. This uh uh little review thing of my thoughts on the Hunger Games Catching Fire Comic Con trailer. Like I said, subscribe and take a look at my other Comic Con videos and my thoughts on some of the stuff that's going down there. Thank you for watching. Over and out.